Good morning guys and welcome back to the coffee bar today, Madawaska Coffee Company. Yeah, I know, I've done it before. Like I said, guys, Madawaska Coffee Company. And now, I did review their coffee before, and it was some substantially good coffee. During the last review of the Madawaska Coffee, I did mention while going through their website, they have a dark maple roast. Dark maple roast. Now, I did mention in that review that I think I needed to try this. Well, look what we got here. Madawaska Coffee Company's Dark Maple Roast. I did not buy this. This was given to me by a longtime viewer and a friend of mine, Ken Coke. Ken, thank you very much. This is the second, third package of coffee. Fourth? I'll have to look into that. It's at least the third package of coffee Ken's given me. Yeah, thank you very much. And Maple, you can't get much more Canadian. said before, they got a moose on their bag, maple leaf, maple, Canada. Anyway, we got to open this up. Oh, my God. Didn't offend you there, did I? Okay. Oh, I can smell this already. That's got Canada Road all over it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, this is whole bean, just the way I like it. Ken, you know what you're doing. I've already got a stack of beans in my big grinder, so I'm going to use my small one. My God, you should smell this room right now. Dark roast coffee. Maple syrup. I'm just going to leave that open for a while. I'm going to grind this up to the same consistency as my big grinder and then going to put it in the Keurig. As usual, I'm going to try first black, then with milk. In the meantime, we're going to talk a little bit about the Madawaska Coffee Company and their dark maple roast. I don't even have to taste it. I can tell you it's going to be good. All right, let's get this brewing. If you could only smell the maple and the coffee. Two of my favorite things. All right, Madawaska Coffee Company, as I've said before, they are in Berries Bay, Ontario. Dark maple roast, well-balanced flavor, aroma, and acidity, similar to our medium roast but with a subtle and smooth maple finish. The smell tells you that the maple is there. It is not subtle at all on the smell, which is okay. On the taste, we're going to see if we can find the maple in there, and or is it just jump right out at us. Wow. According to this, it's $11 per bag. Now, this has got a little different label on it than it has on their website. I'll leave a link to their website down below. But uh, this says it was $11. And it's 14 ounces of coffee, just about a pound. Right on the bag itself, very nice description. Like a crisp April morning in the valley, our dark maple roast has a little nip to it, full bodied and slightly smoky. This roast is complemented by a deep, rich finish produced by the maple infusion. Now, on the, uh, they have a roast level chart. Uh, the roast level is not quite dark, three quarters of the way between medium and dark. So. It's done. Let's have a sm All right, let's see what we got. So on the smell, the, the, the smell of the maple has tamed down quite a bit versus the bean. It's supposed to be a slight taste of smoke and a slight taste of maple. This is super hot, so let's find out. Uh, 
That's good. Oh my god, that's good. I don't even want to put milk in it. That is good. You can taste a little bit of the smoke. The maple flavor is not overwhelming. Wow. But I got to put milk in it. I mean, it's what we do here. Not too much. That almost hurt to put milk in there. Oh, it almost hurt. The milk actually enhanced it a little bit. So the milk brought out the maple flavor just a little bit more than what it was before, but not overpowering to the point where it's going to leave that maple taste all over your mouth where you're not actually going to enjoy your coffee. Ooh, Madawaska Coffee Company. Two in a row. This has got to rank in the top six. If not the top four. So there you have it, folks. Madawaska Coffee Company's Dark Maple Roast. That's a hit. It's not an everyday drink, but it's a hit. And it doesn't overpower your mouth, which is a plus. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. And before I go, I just uploaded a video a week or so ago. Origin 1668 Coffee. I'm going to redo that video. Let me explain why real quick. So here's the deal. I've been getting my music from Epidemic Sound. The intro to my coffee videos was normally Epidemic Sound. I have changed subscriptions, but I didn't change my intro. Hence, you got a new intro today. They copyrighted the video. Thank you, Epidemic Sound. I guess all that money I was paying you each month for the past few years. Never mind. So anyway, I have signed up with a new company to get my music. Therefore, we have a new intro. I think it was time for a change anyway. So, I'm going to redo the video for the Origin 1668. I got some other things coming up on the channel with, as far as reviews go. Yeah. Got a request to do a couple whiskey reviews, so I'm going to give that a shot as well. I'm not a sommelier, as you're about to find out. Anyway, that is all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Madawaska Coffee Company. Yeah, you haven't got a bad product yet. It's all good stuff. Anyway, that is it. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, folks, please do that. Thumbs up. Helps get the video suggested. And for God's sake, ring the bell. Ring the bell so that you get notified each and every time I upload a video. YouTube is suppressing my videos. Anyway, that's it. Keep smiling. And you remember what I always like to say? The best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. Later. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the coffee bar. It has been a while. I think I said that on the last one. Anyway, I think I said that on the last one. What did I got? Madawaska. Done Madawaska before. Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Good morning guys, welcome back to the coffee bar. Today we got a 